Welcome to the Congress Theatre's virtual studio. We thought we'd give you a tour around to reassure you about the measures we've taken to make sure it's safe for our staff and for you. As you can see, as soon as you walk into the theatre, you have a sanitation station that we request you to use. For your own peace of mind, we ask that you bring any face and hand coverings with you and any gels and wipes that you might need. So while you're here, we ask you to respect the toilet policy as well. One in, one out, socially distance where possible and always wash your hands. We'll meet you here at stage door so you can unload all your gear. If you're coming in separate cars, we have to stay at least 10 minutes apart to stick to social distancing. We cannot help you carry your gear, but we do have a lift here to take it up to the auditorium. So we have a green room available for all the cast and crew to use while they're here as well. And then also another sanitation station that you must use before you go into the auditorium. So this is our bar area that we converted into the studio gallery. This is where all the engineers and techs will be during your performance and rehearsals. So to make sure we're all social distancing, all your spots will be marked out so you know exactly where to stand. And prior to entry, everything will be sprayed and disinfected. So you're more than welcome to bring your own mics, but we do have disposable pop shields and wireless mics to try and lower the contamination levels. So that's it, that's our virtual tour. If you have any questions, drop us an email, or if you would like to book the studio space, then get in contact. Rachel Hamilton, I am the Congress Youth Theatre Director here in the Congress Theatre in Cumbran. These are indeed difficult times, I know you've all heard that, but we're a community theatre that serves the community here. We have touring shows, we have the local dance shows and comedy, live music, and we really, really want to be able to come out at the other end of this having survived and still be here charging the ticket prices we do that are affordable to our area. We would like to thank the council and the community councils for their support so far, but we do want to help ourselves. And so what we have done at the moment is we'd like to thank uh, Green Room Events who have put in incredible equipment here and turned this into a live studio that we can record bands and give a feel of something that's live coming back to us on weekends etc and if you are a band you might be interested in that like i said we really want to welcome you all back here at some point and we would be really grateful if in some small way you could support us by going to our web page or to our facebook page and give a small donation because you know here in this borough is civilized to have a theatre and we need it here for our kids and for our future. Thank you for listening.
swear this lot haven't picked up a musical instrument in six months. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. We haven't. Have have we? Killing. Hi, everybody. Is the boys having a jam there? I'm Mike Doyle. Welcome to the Rocking with Laughter show, coming to you live from the Congress <laughs> Theatre <laughs> Studio. Yeah. 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 We're all pumped. We oh, all can't yeah. wait to entertain you tonight. Uh, we've got some great, great uh, songs for you. We've got our very special guest, Stephanie Weber, who'll be joining us later. So, uh, boys, let's play something we do know, shall we? Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Very superstitious. Writings on the wall. Very superstitious. It's a bad love The good things in the past When you believe in things That you don't understand Then you suffer Superstition ain't the way Yeah, 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 yeah Very superstition Wash your face and hands Rid me of the problem Do all that you can Keep me in a daydream Keep me going strong Nothing's gonna save me Sad is my song Superstition made the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Woo! Yeah. 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 Very superstition. The bad man's on his way Welcome back indeed. Boys, we haven't done it since the 14th of March. No. no. Unbel how does it feel? It feels great, doesn't it? Relaxed. I'm exhausted. I, I, I swear to you, I've been trying to practice the singing. And Stephanie Weber has been rehearsing since we last week. Cheat in, cheat in. She knew this was coming. Ooh, cheater. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, sitting at home, now for something a little poignant. There's no business. Did you get it? Yeah. Did you get it? Did they get it? <laughs> Everywhere's closing. It's so, 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 I don't watch the news anymore. And I mean, Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera. Close. I mean, why did they close that? 
He's been wearing a mask for years. Oh! Take it away, Knight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Treated you sort of wrong. I can't take any more. I never looks like I'm never gonna fall in love again. Say so myself, yeah, boys. If I say so myself, Kerry on percussion was the best in that. Oh. <laughs> How's it been, boys? Lockdown. How's it been, Nigel? How's it been for you, boy? Well, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. That's what everyone's saying. It is what it is. What it is. Kerry, what about you, boy? Lockdown. Okay. <laughs> What about you, John? How's it been for you, pal? Have you been off to Africa at all during this? You haven't been anywhere. You haven't been anywhere? John Good, my bass player, he does a lot of work in Africa, teaching kids in Africa uh, music and things like that, isn't it? Doing a fantastic job out there with a the school in Africa, bringing music. Uh, it's very talented people. I've, I've seen some of the stuff. Really, really good. You should get some of that on here as well. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Paul Shepard, how's it been, mate? It came and it went, and uh, we're just coming out, and uh, yeah. on we go. He's got the biggest motorbike on earth. <laughs> what have you, Christian? How's it been, pal? Oh, nice to see you. Yeah, it's nice to be seen. Nice to be seen. That'd yes, be, that'd be good. <laughs> we have got our very special guest uh, coming up right now. This lady, you might have seen her on The Voice, and she's actually best friends with two very, very, very famous people in the world. One is the Hoff. Ooh. Went to his wedding. Wow. Do you remember we were all waiting for our invites? It didn't come. Didn't happen. And the other one, of course, is Tom Jones. Ooh, Tom. So let's welcome back. You're all a big fan of Steph. She's been with the Rocking With Laughter show for a, a long, long time, and we love her very much indeed. She's good in a mask and without a mask. Tonight is without a mask. <laughs> Here she is. Come on, boys. Big one of applause. Hey, <laughs> Stephanie Weber. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Hi, Steph. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. All good? Two metres. 
How are you, kid? Yeah, well, Mike, it's nice to be back. Really nice to be back with my lovely friends as well. And, of course, back with you. Steph, we've been watching you um, on Facebook and you've been yeah. singing your heart out. Yeah, you know, yeah. You're doing some fantastic cabarets in your kitchen. Must be driving your family insane. <laughs> They've all left. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it for the fantastic. It's great to see you. Stephanie Weber. Thank you. Super cool. Thank you, Steph. That was brilliant. Thank you Absolutely for having me. Absolutely brilliant. Nice moves as well there. Hey, Steph, I was just thinking earlier, you know, I was talking to the boys, and um, what was the first record you ever bought? What's a record? <laughs> <laughs> Kids today, eh? I just realised now she wouldn't know what a record Christian, you're the same. Well, I CDs, all right then. <laughs> what was the first CD you ever bought? And did it then help you to get into the world of showbiz? The first CD I ever bought, I believe, was the Spice Girls CD, Wannabe. Ooh. Remember? You wanna be my lover. That one? You could have been Baby Spice. I always wanted to be Baby Spice. <laughs> Mr. Doyle always wanted to be with the pink fluffy scrunchies in. So and the bunches. Yeah, I can see it. So there we are. Well, that's fantastic. The very first it, it, the Spice Girls. That's amazing. It makes, makes, it, makes us feel so old. It makes you feel old, Paul Shepard. Oh, 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 <laughs> that was amazing, Steph. Thank you. You're going to come back and do one more for us later? I am. Yeah. Say to after everybody at home. See you later. Come on, boys. Stephanie yeah. Webber. Yeah. Yeah. And she goes. Major, first yeah. record you ever bought? First record I bought was the Gene Genie by David Bowie for two reasons. I love David Bowie. And the other reason, it really annoyed my dad. <laughs> so you used to turn your mono record player up to number Very 11. Nice change from Glenn Miller in our house, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant, yes, there we are. Well, as much as they're in my house. John Good, first, first ever record, CD, whatever you want to call it. Great soul singer Bobby Burke. That was 
Bobby Bird. Bobby Bird. Everybody now will be on their phones going, who's Bobby Bird? <laughs> who's Bobby Bird? I'll check him up myself. Bobby Kerry, over there on percussion, a man with a thousand instruments. First record you ever bought? Yeah, good yeah, choice. Yeah, good yeah. choice. Yeah, and did that make you want to go into showbiz? It, well, it did. Yeah, we were going to get out the house anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, Christian Carpenter. Well, yes. Oh, here we go. Well, here we go. I was thinking about this. Keep it short. Um, keep yeah. it short. Okay, I'll keep it short. Um, it was actually "Boom Shake the Room" by Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Oh, yeah. Boom, Boom Shake, Shake the Room. Oh, you remember that? Yeah. It's still good. really old. Yeah. I really do. <laughs> this will be a good one. Now, Paul Shepherd. First record. First record. <laughs> When I was a teenager, <laughs> which was over 20 no, years ago, boy. give them a chance, boys. Oh, okay. <laughs> Either you had the Beatles yeah. or the Rolling Stones, and you were in one camp or the other. I was a Rolling Stone. Oh, yeah. My first record was Rolling Stones, and they still go in. Yeah. Got to give him that. Oh, oh, fair play. Well, do you know what? We were talking about this, this earlier. There's a point for, for behind all this, but the first record, uh, forget the, my first record, because I was into T Rex and things like that, you know, Metal Guru. I loved it. But the first record, my dad ever bought my mother was the most beautiful, beautiful song, and I started putting it into my show. So, mum and dad, if you're watching, this is for you. It's a good Perry Como song called And I Love You So. And I love you so The people ask me how How I've lived till now I tell them I don't know I guess they understand how lonely life has been But life began again The day you took my hand And yeah Just for me, we set my spirit free. I'm happy that you do. The book of life is brief, and once the page is read. All but love is dead That is my belief And yeah
don't oh, I need write a glass them like of that. water. Gosh. Like oh, they don't write them like that anymore. No, 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 no. No. Let me have a glass of water. Gosh, I haven't sang since um, since March, and it's isn't it funny? It's a muscle, they say, isn't it, you boys? Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Oh, absolutely, absolutely <laughs> lovely. Right, okay. Um, I want to just go on a quick chat with the boys a second. Do you know what? With the Rockin' With Laughter show, we've, we've covered all sorts of ballads like that because we have Stephanie on and Steph's a fantastic crossover singer as well. Um, we cover all sorts of things, really, for a show called Rockin' With Laughter. But um, there's one particular thing that we have never really done. And I was chatting to Paul Shepard, who's been in the business for 139 years. <laughs> and... Um, and Paul said to me one day about the big band thing. Tell us a bit more. Because yes, you play with the big band as well, don't you? I do. I do. And it's, uh, it's a dying art. But it's yeah. more popular than ever. Yeah. Well, we have got a swing number tonight. This is something way out of my comfort zone. So, um, I've got you under my skin. Yeah. Good job. Under my skin, I've got you deep in the heart of me. So deep in my heart, you're really a part of me. Cause I've got you under my skin. I tried so. I said to myself, this affair never will go so well. But why do I try to resist when, darling, I know darn well? Cause I've got you under my skin. I'd sacrifice anything, come what might for the sake of having it near in spite of a warning voice that comes in the night and repeats and repeats in my ear. Don't you know, little fool, you never can win. Use your mentality, or wake up to reality. For each time I do, the very thought of you makes me stop before I begin. Cause I've got you, Congress Studios, under my skin. Let's hear it. For the boy! Anything of what might for the sake of having you near in spite of a warning voice that comes in the night and repeats and repeats in my ear. Don't you know, little fool, you never can win. Use your mentality. I get up, I get up, but you reality. For each time I do, the very thought of you makes me stop. It makes me stop before I begin. Cause I've got you under my skin. Yes, I like you, I do, under my skin. Yes, I love you. Yeah. 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 Well, what was that 
Great tune. Swinging, cooking, swinging, wasn't it? Well done, well done. Give yourselves a round of applause, boys, because you know something, we don't do enough of that, do we? No. No. See, I mean. you've been going on and on and telling me we I should have. be doing more you should, boobly you and should, all you that. Be, you should be in the jazz clubs, you. You should be in the jazz club, yeah, serving me in the bar. Yeah. <laughs> Cleaning it. Do you know what? It was, did you all have an early night last night? I did. Uh, <coughs> early night last night. I got into bed. My wife. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, sorry, is that not normal? No, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go on, tell us more. Go on, go on. Well, I'm saying, I just got in and uh, put my arm around her. Oh, God. I slid my hand to her neck. I slid it all the way down to the nape. Oh. I went round the curvature oh. to the inside of the thigh. Hello. Hello. And then I stopped. Oh. Oh. Why have you stopped? I said, I found the remote control now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a joke, isn't it? Uh. <laughs> it didn't really happen. <laughs> Night, you and I have always been uh, big fans of Neil Sedaka. Mm. Correct. And... Um, I thought we could stick a Neil Sedaka song in tonight. Take it away, Nigel. Oh. Nigel, you know, more money, you drive a bigger car. Can you play, please play that again? <laughs> Girl, you said you're leaving. There's no laughing without you so many months here, the old vocals are having a bashing, but I'm really enjoying this. How much are you enjoying it, boys? You enjoying yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we hope you are watching at home as well. We will have a donation page uh, put up, so um, any donations would be, would be greatly appreciated, wouldn't they, boys? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
especially Christian. He hasn't ate since the no. thing. No, no I, I beg to differ there, actually. Looking at him. I beg to differ, says my child. <laughs> I'm going to go and enjoy this, um, this bottle of water and we'll bring back our very special guest who's been with our show for some time. We've done panto together. We've done shows together. And now we're doing this wonderful, wonderful studio in Cumbria. So please welcome back to the stage to do something seriously different to what we're doing tonight. And he does show her off and shows how fantastic she is. Stephanie Weber. Thank you. I've done that, Michael. I'm not going to lie. That's some note at the end, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> You're <laughs> very you. welcome. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <laughs> Stephanie Weber. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nigel. Thank you. Well done, Steph. You can sing, huh? I hope you've enjoyed our show tonight. We've thoroughly enjoyed entertaining you. And it's, I just want to say thank you so very, very much indeed to all the people who have supported us over the years. You've come and we've packed out the new theatre in Cardiff, every seat. You remember that back in January when we thought none of this was going to happen. And, uh, and we thank you to the, all the other theatres as well. Uh, we finished at the Riverfront Theatre in Newport. That was the last uh, thing we did, wasn't it? Yeah. So <clears throat> we've, we've done nothing uh, until tonight. But um, I want to say a big, big thank you and a welcome back to my son, Tom Doyle. I'm not going to embarrass him, but um, those of you who follow the story will know that um, he wasn't very well at all. We won't go into it right now, but a big, big thank you because he's helping out one of our cameras tonight. Tommy Doyle's back. So that's great, isn't it? Eh? I have got another boy as well. His name's Sam as well, and he's um, an Xbox champion. <laughs> I took him to church the other day, right? Yeah. Well, well, before the lockdown, you know. Yeah, yeah, I took Sam, my little boy, to church. And uh, we're in the church there, you know. And then all of a sudden, he leans over to me and he goes, Dad, Dad, what? Dad, what's the password for the Wi Fi in here? <laughs> I said, Shut up and show some respect. He said, is that all in lowercase? <laughs> he's got an iPad. He's got an iPhone. He's 13 years old. iPhone, iPad, Nintendo Switch, um, a, an Xbox 360 1S in white, a 55-inch LED HD um, 4K HDMI WD40 <laughs> TV hanging on his own wall in his playroom that used to be my garage. I said to him, I said... When I was your age, boy, all I had for Christmas was an apple and an orange. He said, wow, you had a computer and a phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's time to say bye-bye, I guess. And um, I'm a 70s kid, so uh, strum that lovely 70s thing. We're going to finish off with this. Those of you who've been to the Rock With Laughter show all over the years would have joined in with all these songs. It's been great fun tonight, really has.
This is not a puppy
be my pleasure. God bless everybody. Stay safe out there. Wear a mask. Bye-bye. Thank you.